uh, can I load a, a saved frame style without the position? For example, uh, I want to tile frames and then save uh, the style in the upper left plot and load it in the lower right. Uh, the answer is yes, uh, but not directly in the TechPlot360 user interface. Uh, and let me just go through a quick example here as well. So here I have uh, TechPlot360. And uh, let's say I have uh, this upper frame here. Let me delete this one, get it out of the way. And uh, I want to copy this frame style to a new frame. So the first thing I'll do is I'll actually create uh, a new frame and I'll switch it to, uh, to 2D. Now, I can, I can quite easily uh, click on this upper left frame and say frame, uh, save frame style, and then come over here and say load frame style. Well, when I load that frame style, it's going to also copy the frame size and position. So it's going to be overlaying in this original position. Well, I want to retain the position. So uh, one of the other things that I've put in the handouts is another macro file uh, called copy frame style. And what this does is it will register a couple of commands on the quick macro panel. And I'll show you how this works in, in just a minute. Uh, so the copy frame style, it will write a style sheet to a temporary directory. Uh, if you want to use this macro, you may have to update this absolute path. And then it will read that style sheet back in uh, with the magic being this bottom line, include frame size and position, no. So it will load that uh, uh, specific frame style, uh, but it will ignore the frame size and position. All right, so let's show you how this uh, this macro works. So I'll just drag and drop this macro on the TechPlot360 user interface, and you see two new entries showed up here in the quick macro panel. I'll just click on this frame, and I'll say copy frame style. So I'll select it and hit play, and then I'll select this new frame and Again, I can either hit play or just double click. So I'll double click here. And uh, now I have uh, the same frame style. So this is one of those macros that I use uh, actually uh, pretty often. So if you want these macro functions to be persistent and always available to you, you can put them in the techplot.mcr file in uh, the home directory of TechPlot360. Now, if you're in an environment where, uh, if you're in a Linux environment and you're sharing that installation with a number of people, uh, you can also put uh, a dot .techplot.mcr file in your Linux home directory, and uh, then you won't impact other users on your network. Uh, and there's information about that in the TechPlot uh, user's manual. So look for techplot.mcr in the user's manual, and you'll see how to register macros in, uh, in the quick macro panel.